Hi, my name is Nate Totten. I'm the CTO and co-founder of Zuplo. Zuplo is an API gateway that makes it easy for developers to ship amazing API experiences to their users. Today, I'm going to show you how to create an API out of data stored in Firebase's Firestore database in just a few minutes. Let's get started. I'm going to create a demo project here called Demo Firestore. And in just a few seconds, I have a live API gateway spun up. So let's go over here and create our first route in our API. I'm gonna call this products. We're going to proxy a collection stored in Firestore that shares products. Products, and we'll just put a path ID. Now to authenticate, we're gonna use our Firestore admin auth policy. Zuplo has a couple Firestore policies. The one we're going to use today allows us to authenticate to our Firestore database as an administrator. We also could use Firebase user auth, which allows us to authenticate as the user making the request. This way, we'd be able to use Firestore's security rules to actually uh, gate access. But let's use our admin auth today. So I'm going to add this policy. And you notice here there is an environment variable called service account JSON. So let's click Save. And then I'm going to go over to our project settings, over to environment variables, and I'm going to add a new variable. And that's called service account JSON. Now, to get this variable, I go over to my Firebase settings, and I go over to service accounts, and then I would click generate new private key. I've already done this. So I'm just going to use the value that I've copied. So let's go back over to the Zuplo portal. And this is a secret. And let's paste that value and hit save. So we'll go back over to our routes. Let's save those. And then we're going to open our route tester and give this a try. So products slash ID. And let's just request product one, two, three and hit test. Now, we haven't configured the proxy to the Firestore REST API yet, so we're just proxying against this echo.zuplo.io. This is just an API that basically echoes your response back to your request back to you. So the thing to notice here is that there is an authorization header. This is the header that was added by our Zuplo admin auth policy. It's added a JOT token, and this is the, the Firebase admin JOT token. So let's wire this up now to the actual API. So we'll use our URL rewrite policy here. And the URL rewrite policy allows us to take parameters from our uh, URL or um, you know, from the request, like the user, et cetera, or environment variables, and uh, create a new uh, URL for our, re our request. In this case, I'm going to paste this in here. We're using Firestore's API. We're going to request this against our Firebase project, this environment variable, which we'll set in a second. Our database default, it's always default with Firebase. And then our, our products collection and the document ID, which is our parameter ID here. Save that. And I'll go over here and we'll set that uh, last environment variable. And to get this, we go over to our project's general settings, and it's our project ID. Make sure we don't have space and save that. So now we have our products route with our Firebase admin auth policy rewriting to the Firebase REST API. Over here in Firebase, let's grab an ID of an actual product. In this case, I have one sample product and we'll copy that ID and back to our route tester. And instead of one, two, three, we'll put that real ID here and click test. And here we see we have the response coming from Firebase, uh, from Firestore's API. Now, this format is a little bit strange. This is Firestore's format. Um, it's not super great for an end user. Uh, fields, name, and then it's got the string value, and then the value, description string value. If they were Booleans, they think it has like Boolean value. So we can use a custom policy in Zuplo to actually very easily rewrite this to something that makes a little bit more sense to our users. I'm going to copy this value 
so that I have it for reference in our policy. Now I'm going to create a outbound policy called rewrite body. And then I'm going to add a outbound policy here that uses that module, custom code outbound. And we'll just change this to rewrite. And so what's happening here is when the request comes in on this URL, the admin auth uh, header gets added. The request goes out to Firestore's REST API. The response comes back, and now it's going to pass through this outbound policy, and then it'll be returned to the client. This outbound policy is a custom code policy. So this allows us to basically do whatever we want uh, with, with code. This is, um, this is TypeScript in this case, super easy. So here's the request that we got earlier from our, our test in the Firebase um, uh, in the Firebase sort of shape. So I'm going to grab that body. Wait, response. So this is the response coming from Fire uh, Firestore. So uh, I'm grabbing that as JSON into this body. So this body is is this here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new object that I'm going to return in the response uh, in the nicer shape. So let's call this data. And let's just make it super easy. Um, name. And we'll just copy these here. So we've got name, description, and price. Format that. So we're copying these, val we're, we're grabbing these values from the body, fields, name, string value, so that we just have the actual value here, and we're putting it in this new shape. Now, responses and requests uh, with our fetch standard API here, the web standard API, are immutable. So we need to create a new one. So I'm going to do new response, and we pass a body as the first parameter. So I need to serialize this JSON stringify. And we'll use the um, parameters here to keep that in a nice shape. And then we can pass uh, the response init value. It allows us to pass headers and other things uh, to that. The easiest thing to do here is, just is to just pass the existing response object so that we have all the same headers that were returned from Firebase. I'll save that. And then let's go over and test this again. And there you see. We have a response in a super nice format uh, modified from that original Firestore format. So that's it. In just a few minutes, you've seen how we can take uh, data stored in Firestore and transform that and proxy it through Zooplo to build a super nice, easy to use API for our end users. Thanks a lot.